What's up, FM Squad? Flash Mane here, about to react to another video. Top 10 most underrated women in WWE. This was requested by Lorraine Diaz. Shout out to you for requesting that I react to this video. Y'all already know I don't like to talk too much in the beginning of my video, so y'all know what I'm about to say. Let's just vibe. Criminally underrated in WWE. That's a name you don't hear a lot. We just forgot about the whole thing. Oh, come on, share that. Welcome to Greenville. This is Diaz, and today we're going to talk about the women that are very talented, very charismatic, but because WWE didn't treat them all, we just don't have a lot of opportunity. Opportunity! Opportunity! Opportunity to talk about. So we're going to go over the top 10 underrated women of WWE. And Let's get it then. And with the list, the Sriracha Muchacha. Was his job to be annoying? <laughs> I'm just asking the questions. She had an album special. Yeah. Well, she had a top Christmas album. Yeah, she sounds. Well, 
So she was so over, of course she did win a Divas Championship for like two seconds. Oh, oh. I popped so hard when it happened. I remember screaming at the TV like, yes, like I didn't expect it, it was great. I think she tried to have a feud with Melina for a championship, but it just didn't go anywhere. That feud was weirdly chemistry was off. Yeah. But mm -hmm. that didn't go anywhere and then the championship was unified, so it was like... Then it just kind of like disappeared. Yeah. She kind of faded. Notable feud. Man, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that woman does. Because I really, really, really want to wrestle her. Oh, yeah. So bad. What? So bad. I know right now she's not currently wrestling. She did have Lady, now I know you crazy. You try to wrestle that woman, you going straight into a brick wall, okay? Straight into a brick. Don't do it to yourself, baby. Don't do it to yourself. <laughs> That's a brick wall right there. Don't do it. I just seen her. Like I saw her as like the Mike Tyson of the women's division. And then somebody would be like, "Oh, why would you make that comparison?" But no, that's how much of a badass and intimidating she was. I can see that. She brought a legitimacy to the division when it was needed, and that was a time of was kind of like the weird, you know, transition of like cool women, but also models. Okay. Got lost in the mix. Yeah. But her coming out was just walking down the ramp. You knew she meant business. Very underrated for sure. I really liked her feud that she had with. Uh, Victoria and also Trish when they wrestled or had a feud with Trish they were elevated mm -hmm. and I think that's really when Jazz really made a name for herself I yeah. just wish it was a little bit longer she just mm. destroyed Trish Stratus. she really did yeah. that was Trish Ooh, like earlier she, when she debuted in Trish's match where she won her first champion yeah, that's oh, man. Match. Jazz did such a good job elevating Trish to the next level because Trish before that was more of uh, I can't do yeah, that totally. she was so scary it uh, is and I think that was awesome about it that, like, actually that's what I liked about her that was actually like scared of her yeah. and to the fact that she's still wrestling wow. and was still here recently yeah. I think it's a total detriment to her because she was so good and still is so good and mm -hmm. can still go and I think she should definitely be in the conversation with like Trish and Lita because like you mentioned she helped elevate him and helped him get to where they're at so yeah. shout out to Jazz hopefully I'll get to wait so I'm assuming that all of these women that they're like saying is underrated like correct me if I'm wrong and I probably got to watch the rest of the video but I'm assuming that a lot of these women who were underrated kind of like faded out of the scenery of WWE. Correct me if I'm wrong. Like, and if they did, like, how does that even work? Like, because, you know, they already mentioned them having like their highlighted moments, but just not being able to capitalize off of those highlighted moments. So it's just like, like, how do you just fade, though? Even if you can't capitalize, like, how do you just kind of like fade away? I don't know. It sucks though, because it sounds like all of them had like great potential. Mass suit against WWE, so that is really unfortunate. But you know, I hope WWE really gives her the credit. I hope so too. She's a badass for sure. We can't deny that Jazz was a badass. Yeah, Hall of Fame worthy. Speaking of really strong women, my next pick had never really got a chance, but should have had a huge chance. I'm going with Shaniqua. Shaniqua. Oh Lord, she got the muscles too. Woo. Exactly. Oh, dominatrix. And I think, honestly, that kind of killed her chances. Yeah. The fact that she was made a dominatrix. I love the whole SmackDown era that was pretty much the Tori Wilson show. Tori and Dawn and Nydia and Shaniqua, man, they had that huge storyline where she was pretty much like dominating the entire division. And no one could touch She's her. She's built like a bodybuilder. She was completely different. Like, I would have liked to see her branch out from that and cross over to Raw and kind of have matches with all these girls who could really go. She just had a very unique stature. Very menacing, like, oh man. She's Linda Miles from Tough Enough. I was actually really excited when she won Tough Enough. I remember seeing that That's whole, lit. like, finale when everybody was, like, dressed up, waiting to see who won. And whenever she won, I was like, yes, I was hoping she won. I really agree with you that she was almost, like, pigeonholed into one certain gimmick because I actually think even if she did go up beyond that, she would have still been seen as that. Yeah. Unless, you know, it would have been completely different. But it's just, a, like, a bummer that we didn't really get to see much that what she could do, honestly. Yeah. I, I wonder how these women look now. Dawn Marie was facing her, and she like beat the crap out of Dawn Marie, and yeah. then Tori came down to save her with a steel chair and stuff. Ooh. She ran through the division, like there was no way they could stop her. Oh. Sandy even took her over there. What happened with that? 
she kind of just like quit. Oh. I, she oh. I actually today was like, I need to see what she's doing today because I was going to mention her. She is a basketball coach oh. for mm. high school and college. There was an interview somewhere on YouTube where she was basically like, okay. yeah, I don't regret my time there, but I'm not going to talk about it. Everything happened the way it was supposed to. My second pick for the most underrated woman is Naomi. Oh, Naomi for sure. I know that she had Man for show for show for show for show for show for show I feel like Naomi didn't darn near did anything everything that she needed to do to just be at the top of so for some reason in her journey she just like could not get there and stay there like I don't know what it was, but Naomi definitely one of the underrated ones for sure. She was she working her butt off. With was great so potential. Like she's really underrated, but I really think she's very underrated. She started her career back in NXT with AJ Lee and Caitlyn, yeah. and when AJ Lee was becoming a legend, she was very much on the side. Let's not forget the greatest FCW theme of all time. When it comes in the club, get it, get it. Up. in NXT with AJ and Naomi which was mm. so good and Kelly Kelly on the ringside were like mm. we hope mm. we can do that yeah, right. about that. they had such a long match and then Michael Cole who was shooting on NXT the entire season yeah. started screaming off the bus off the bus off the bus the the I can't. Okay, Naomi has like a long feud, so they can like recreate that. Never had a chance. Naomi never got like a really serious feud where she could show her as like a legitimate athlete. Yeah. Because she is so athletic. I think she's one of the most athletic persons that yeah. have in the WWE. You know what? I, I do definitely feel like she was on the sidelines a lot. A lot, a lot. And that do suck at the end of the day because when... She was in the spotlight when they gave her the chance to be in the spotlight. I feel like she took over, to be honest. Whether she was losing a match or winning, I feel like she still took over. You know, it could just be my biased opinion because I like Naomi. Naomi is my favorite. But, you know, that's neither here or there. Let's keep going. <laughs> athletic, plus her dancing background helps out her. I Dang, helps y'all. Out a lot yeah, yeah. There we go. Not a lot of people who have either a dance background or any type of athletic background can combine the two, but she does it perfectly. So I really wish there was a longer feud to further develop that. And her character, her old character, is one of the most creative ones. Oh, her looks look. so good, so marketable. Too. I was about to say that. So marketable. Right, she's yeah. very entertaining. Exactly. You can do so much stuff with that. You know, glow mm -hmm. sticks, shirts, yeah. pants, anything. Also, her Slayomi gimmick. So, like, oh, I thought it was amazing. I thought her mic work back then was pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. She sounded really angry because she was really put to the side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I, I said really that. I said that. I like her character work too. I really just don't think there's any reason that WWE is not using her to a main event or level. I don't understand how she's not used as much as she needs to be. I really don't. I really I hope we can actually look back into this video maybe two, three years down the line and be like, remember when Naomi was underrated? Because I really hope that in the near future right. she's used better she's used more and is able to really show everybody what she can because we want to see more wwe holly holly. oh yeah uh, molly holly was at that transition between of uh, right before they started using all like the pretty models hey we're gonna put you in bikinis and y'all wrestle there so i think she's kind of like in a really ooh, weird ooh, period i know you're really freaking lying to mention her but she did bring in like as i didn't know they did that not the biting of the finger. Ma'am. I was just going to say, dang, she tall. Like, wow, I'm thinking about her height. And you over here biting people's fingers? This woman crazy. Out of the Holly family, which is a perfect balance. And plus, I always admire any woman that's willing to cut off her hair. Yeah. Like, for the sake of wrestling. Period. I know stuff that was such a badass. Period. But, man, I really wish I would have seen a longer run with her. I really wish she would come back. Some sort of role to, to this day. I think she was a good balance of being a badass and being like a girly girl as you yeah, would say. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people saying that she's a textbook of the rest. Yes, very. She's super technical. Oh, I wow. don't think oh, wow. another woman wrestler oh, wow. that's been as technical as Molly Holly
think that Santa maybe seem more like as a guy thing, but she was super technical. She could definitely deliver it in the ring. Evolution 2, Molly Holly versus Natalia. Ooh. Ooh. Almost with like Molly Holly's of the world, especially during that era. Natalia was like, a beast looking too. Looking back at the women's wrestling now, they were like, man, if only that was happening while I was wrestling. Yeah. Like, imagine how much more she could have done and so many other women could have done if they were wrestling now or this whole awesome revolution of women's wrestling was happening then. It would have been crazy matches. She would have definitely been on top for so long. She also yeah. talked about backstage politics sometimes. There's a podcast where she talks about like, Trish is so good. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I think like that played a lot of part too. She like, built too. Of my favorite women's heel turn of all time. Oh, so. she, her heel turn was amazing. Right in that paddle. It's just like, Ooh. every time. A lot of women, or maybe even people in general, are scared to be that heel, that villain, because everyone wants to be the cool heel, you know? She went in, like, beat friends, wow. beat friends, like, through and through, and hate me. And Yo, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you this, only a special kind of people can even have that role like she said most people want to play the goody to shoe the, the good one the one the the one that everybody like they don't like playing the villain but when i tell you the ones who do play the villains <laughs> honey i y'all doing y'all thug is because ain't no way ain't no way that's all i can say yeah. So I think that was really cool because I don't think a lot of people can do that. Her move sets are more, more grounded, right? Yeah. A lot of people don't see that she was like amazing. Yeah. She doesn't have that many like flashes. Totally, yeah. yeah. Before we go to Joey's, let's reveal the picks of the people. The so number three spot goes to Mickey James. Number two is Ember Moon. Number one. I remember Ember Moon. The queen of underrated is Alicia Fox. Are you surprised? No. No, not at all. She's been nice. so long. Remember when she first came into WWE? There's so many. I kind of feel like they kind of did Alicia Fox like how they did uh, Naomi. Because I feel like Alicia Fox been on the sidelines a lot too. Just like how Naomi was. So, actually, I'm, I'm really not surprised at her taking that number one spot. Because it's given, it, yeah, it's given the same thing as Naomi when it comes to like really getting a chance to get that spotlight, get to the top, and stay in there at least for 2.5 seconds, you know? News coming out, like people from TNA, people like WWE Legends were like, Alicia Fox is so good, we see so many potentials. And WWE She's just didn't never, get to tap into it. Yeah, there were gave her a chance. There were times where they didn't try to push her a yeah. little bit more, especially like her first ever title run. Mm -hmm. Then she had that feud where she was really over and cut that Foxy Holiday promo. <laughs> <laughs> crazy personality. Hopefully, because I feel like her time is coming to an end. I feel like yeah. she's getting close to the end of her career. Yeah, I mean, it's really unfortunate because mm. it seems like there is a lot of backstage incidents coming out about Alicia Fox, which seems to be deterring her push within WWE. Right. And that is just really sad because there's so much she can do. And if the people backstage are happy, then you're not wow. going to be happy. It's a thing. Almost all her backstage stuff kind of overshadows anything she's done. Or anything that Could, she's okay, done. so here's my qu question. Do y'all think, could it be the reason why she's acting like this and the reason why she's starting to 
fall off in that way? Could it be because she feels like, like, you know how homeboy said he feels like her time may be ending in this career, in this field? Could it be possibly that she knew as time went on that it was slowly starting to end and she was just not able to get the chances that she needed? And so that's why she took it upon herself to act crazy, act out, have a lot of backstage inst instances and all of that. Like, because that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking the reason why she was acting like that, honestly, is because she probably feel the same way. Homeboy feel like, yo, time is ticking. I've been doing this for how long? And I still haven't been able to really just give my chance and show people my potential. So now maybe this is her way of acting out because it's just like, that's what it is. Like, maybe she feel like oh, I ain't get my chance. I don't know. That could be it. Y'all comment in the comment section down below, like, how y'all feel about that situation? Such a bummer. The best is yet to come, maybe. Who knows? Joey's last pick, my last pick, I chose because WWE did not utilize them and they went on to show how good they could be. I'm going with Skirt Tiffany. Oh, Taryn Terrell. Skirt Tiffany. Skirt Tiffany, yeah. <laughs> well, dang. She pissed Skirt Tiffany. Oh, I was like, no, I'm going to Skirt Tiffany. Oh, I Skirt Tiffany. Yeah. My favorite, like, label promo ever. <laughs> going with her because of her run outside of WWE. Yeah. If you look at it, when she came in and she had her first Ooh, match, stumping show, on. Ooh, she lit the place Ooh. up. Like, the crowd was for her. She really did good. And they just kind of got rid of her. And then she went mm. to TNA and was Terry Terrell went by her own name and really showed the world, hey, I can do this. She was in Team Blancharage with Kelly Kelly. One thing about her is that mm. she was not scared to take bumps. That's exactly what I was going to mention because I will always remember that big bump she took in TNA, actually. When she went through a table and I think she got put through a stage, like, she was not scared of taking huge bumps. Good for her. Yeah, well, we should have Go ahead, girl. Yeah. Even the WWE was taking bumps. Yeah. And the girl was like, who is this girl? Wasn't she like a general manager of ECW? She was. And she was good at it. Yeah. So she can talk. She had, like, the entire package. I don't understand why WWE. Oh, never mind. Her oh my God. Was, uh, I remember it as I was yep. talking. Backstage incident got yeah. her into to her end of the career, which is really sad. I think she got her chance to really shine. No, the risk is what's going on. WWE, and I actually think her being super tough and wanting to take crazy bumps because she's a stunt woman. I forgot what movie it was, but she gets hit in the face with a basketball. Ooh. My last pick is a Diva Search participant. So when it comes to Diva Search participants, I think there's two categories. There's one that just comes in for the fame and just kind of be there for a little bit and they just kind of like fade away. And there's like other people who like really take it, but take the opportunity and be the top. Like Michelle McCool, like Nikki Bella, Layla, E. Torres. But I think this one person is super underrated. Crystal Marshall. That's a name you don't hear a lot. <laughs> this really yeah. queen of the strut. Like, oh, totally. Yeah, I love that. Okay, song. model vibes. I remember her Give so model vibes. vividly because of the strut, mm -hmm. but also that whole wedding ceremony. Oh, yeah, with Teddy Long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how I remember her. It's her whole thing with Teddy Long. Yeah, so. I legit forgot well, about that. Well, dang. Do you have a heart attack or something? But now that I'm thinking about it, It's smooth. Of wrestling experience it's smooth. Beforehand. She almost like picked it up way faster than I thought she could. So yeah. I was like, oh, all right, cool. All of them went in with no training, but yeah. she, the oh, way wow. she moved, it was great. I wanted to see her do more, but I think she turned down a storyline pitch. There was something very sexual going with Edge, and I think she turned mm. it down, and that's why she got fired. I just thought there was so much potential. She was so good. I actually mm. haven't thought about Crystal in years, but now that you mentioned That'll like, do it. Oh, yeah. She was good in the ring. That storyline with Taylor was great. Like, I almost wanted to see her develop into, like, a super villain or, like, a super Dang, character. Yo, wait. So they fired this woman because she decided to turn down a storyline that was going to exploit a lot of actual content. That's crazy. That's wild. Because I don't want, like, all the diva searches to be like, oh, this is a pretty girl, and she just so happens to wrestle. Mm -hmm. Like, I could want to be more than just yeah, that. Yeah. Also, she has a legendary theme song. Mm -hmm. I love it. Y'all know how these theme songs are so cool. Couldn't she just sing her like, what is this? I mean, some of them, but not like that. Billy is legendary. Before the match. 
match. It's always Kelly Kelly back to Oh, man. It's Kelly Kelly. My last pick is Gail Kim. By far. Super I, I think it's kind of the same low with Tim Charles. Remember Gail Kim. On to TNA and, like, totally but forgot about her. But why does she not kick ass in WWE? Actually, I mean, we all know why. We all know why. We all know why, all know why she didn't. But I just really wish she had that platform where she could kick ass in the WWE where all that thing didn't have to happen. I've actually been on a show with her, and she's, like, super nice, super down to earth. Amazing. She's amazing and beautiful on top of all that. And she loves to say that she would do the missile drop kit from the top rope so much. So she's like, I kind of wish that she, she wishes she would have chosen to so Her much, aim you know, for these kids is on point. Super athletic, beautiful, definitely super underrepresented. Like we need more Asian Absolutely. people in wrestling. We need yeah. everybody represented. But yeah. for her to just go out and be go to TNA, she like kicked us. She almost had like a chip on her shoulder. I think when she was wrestling in TNA, like well, all right, like I'll prove to you guys what I can do. She was criminally underrated in WWE because the second run she did was right after she had the legendary storyline with Awesome Kong and WWE just. Mm. Your good butt. Just so that maybe she won't do that outside of the baby. Like, I don't even know what went yeah, on. Yeah, I... She came in like a ball of fire, like attacking Michelle. Yeah, yeah. And then they just kind of were just like, no, here's some water. We're going to toss that out. Yeah. Yeah. I love that she's uh, an example for a lot of women who are underutilized by WWE that you can have success out of WWE and be very happy and yeah, very dumb. Yeah, I remember like, she her a little bit. That. Also, that match with Tessa Blanchard recently. Oh, oh so good. Oh, so good. Amazing. Definitely. It's so underrated. Yeah. If you guys, if anybody watching this doesn't know her work outside of the re- totally recommend go looking it up. Thank you so much for watching this top ten underrated women's. Thank wrestling. you so much for presenting it. I really enjoyed this video. After a lot, like a lot of these women, I really just didn't know about. Some of them I did. Some of them I remembered. Naomi for sure. I know. I know it's about Naomi. Um, but anyways, y'all, I really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Press that subscribe button. Don't forget to press that post notification bell just so you guys get a chance to watch all my videos as soon as I post them. Also, you can comment any suggestions, comments, requests, concerns, anything I read on my comments. If you guys want to go and check out this original video, the original video link will be in the description down below. Until next time, FM Squad, we...